Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. Today, well, we're gonna have a boss encounter. The boss is kind of a... Uh, it's not exactly hard, but he is very gimmicky. So what's gonna happen is, I don't know why Tidus isn't in my party, I swapped out the wrong guy. I'm gonna start the battle off with these guys. Um, I'm gonna have Tidus provoke the boss after he does haste to everyone, and then Lulu and Kamari are gonna reflex, and hopefully Tidus is gonna evade a lot. Uh, now, when Titus provokes this boss, he's going to constantly use Berserk Tail, which is bad because it has a chance of uh, berserking you. Berserk, huh? Berserking you. Uh, we don't have any protection against Berserk at the moment, unfortunately. So I'm hoping we can go in there and just do that. I don't know if there's a way for us to cure Berserk. Maybe like a remedy? I know Dispel doesn't work. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Hopefully it goes well. I mean, with Titus Berserk, we can just keep him healed. Because he's never going to be able to leave. And the boss is just going to die to him eventually. Um, if the, With enough reflexes, Titus shouldn't be getting hit all that often after a certain point. Now, here's another gimmick of the place. Uh, of the fight. Not the place. But when we enter this boss battle, we're on these platforms. We're going to want to move characters pretty much separate from each other because when he counterattacks, he's going to do like an arcing shot, which is not good. Uh, I think the starting placement is random, maybe? I don't know. I don't think you can slow him. So we're going to do this first. And then, Kamari, you are going to move there. Lulu, you're going to move there. Now, with that being said, there should be... They should not be able to get hit. So this is going to be two reflexes from Kamari and Lulu. We want five in total. This will raise the evasion at the very least. Now, I'm not sure what the hit rate is for the Berserk. Uh, it's not 100%, but it's not low either. There is a chance that it always hits. Like, it, it hits 100% of the time, 70% of the time. He's not berserk. All right. So this is three. Two. Now, I'm just going to guard. I'm just going to guard again, apparently. What do you have? You don't have anything. I can try... Sl uh, no, that, he'll counter that. And this will be... One left, right? One more after this? Maybe. I'll do it anyways. Now, I don't know actually if we can evade the Berserk Tail. It's more of the counterattack. Damn it. It's more of the counterattacks that we want to evade. Yeah, you don't have to zoom in slowly on Tidus, dog. We get it. He's gonna get killed. Nice. Good attack. And he's dead. Alright. Exactly what we wanted. Let's bring in Lulu. Not Lulu. Um, Yuna, that's her name. Revive you. You come out and... Orin, can you power break this guy? No, 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 no. Heal, Tidus. With a uh, high potion. No. Uh, yeah, high potion should work. Okay, did not berserk him. Let's go ahead and get protect on to Titus. That will help. We'll Haska again. Are we gonna Haska? I don't know actually. Should just provoke actually. And then next time, if we're not berserked, we will. Then uh, switch out. And uh, I guess, yeah, we'll go with Waka just so he gets experience. You can do that. Okay, that's good. He's berserked again, unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to get haste. Now, as long as we can keep him cured, that's fine. He will not die. Uh, I wish, I wish we were a fish. But this isn't, you know, that type of game, unfortunately. 
So we are just going to have to outlive him. And it shouldn't be too bad. I'm not sure if... Uh, if uh, the reflexes are on T to see. Oh, you know haste! Oh, sweet Mamma Jamma. Yes, haste yourself. That's right! I taught you haste. Because you're on Tidus' path. Uh, and we'll go here. With Protect, should not be able to kill Tidus. And then we'll use a Kiaraga. And now pretty much we're just going to let, let Tidus Berserk kill him. In fact, I might even haste him. Sounds like a good idea, actually. With haste and cure, he's not going to live much longer. All right, well, maybe you should try stealing. I don't even know he's, he, he can steal from him. Uh, very unlikely that we'll get an overkill on him. But, you know. Oh, Glyph Mine. That's not good. That will kill Tidus. That might be fine, though. So that's another gimmick of the battle, is occasionally this boss will put down a glyph. If you're there when that thing, thing explodes, you're gonna die. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's much else we can do right now. Yeah. I guess we could steal, see what happens. Stole Ether, that's not that good. Yeah, Reflect has definitely been taken off. Uh, I could try an L Bed Potion. I'm not sure if those actually. Nah, those don't cure that at all. Well, we might as well use it. Save some MP. So, yeah, Titus is gonna die next turn. There he goes. And uh, let's go ahead and block. You can just revive him. That's fine. You go ahead and haste Titus again. You protect Titus like he's a puppy. Titus, you attack. Because he's almost dead. You keep on attacking. Oh, you're a dick. Oh, I thought you turned around to actually... That's my bad. I thought he turned around to attack Titus. Never mind. That was silly of me. Well, we can uh, provoke, not preserve. There we go. Now he'll do that again. Titus is berserked. Oh well. Why do we have to zoom in slowly every time? Every time. Um. Guess Albed Potion? Because why not? And he's not. No, he is dead. Alright. Couldn't, couldn't overkill him, but that's fine. It would have been nice, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, that fight can be a little bit irritating if you don't have Berserk Proof, obviously. that, And I don't even think you can at this point. I don't know what you need for Berserk Proof. I don't think there's ever been a time that I've had Berserk Proof at this bo boss battle. Now, I could have when Titus was tanking. Um, the Hall of the Final Summoning. Yeah, we could have attacked with other characters, but he wasn't evading anything, and he only has so much HP. Do not go on that. We're not going on that. I need to go save. I get decent experience either way. Uh, we would have gotten an extra level 4 key sphere. That's good, too. What do you mean, no final Aeon? What do you mean, no final Aeon? Everyone. 
No, I gotta go save. Actually, is there a save point down here? Yeah, there is. Sweet. Dope. Oh, uh, we may as well go ahead and spend this level. Oh, we're not gonna get quick hit. That's a shame. Uh, and you can go up here, get some accuracy, I think. At one point. And Yuna, you're almost done yourself. A couple more levels. Get that evasion. That's good evasion. Mari, we don't want to talk about it because you're not probably ever going to get finished. Lulu, you got a little ways to go to Flare. And then I'll promptly teach that to Yuna and... Well, you know. Maybe it never talk to you again. I, I love you, Lulu, but... Yeah, you know. All right, for this next part, we want to not really have zombie protect on. We only have zombie ward that might come back to bite us a little bit. Uh, yeah. All right, that shouldn't be too, too bad. Now, spoilers, we will we'll be turned to zombies in the near future. We kind of want that. Empty statue. That statue lost its powers of faith long ago. You are really green. It is Lord Zeon, the first faith of the final summoning. What you see before you is all that remains of him. Lord Zeon is... his soul is gone. Gone? You mean, there is no final Aeon? But fear not. Lady Yuna Leska will show you the path. The final Aeon will be yours. Hmm. The summoner and the final Aeon will join powers. Go to her now. Inside, the lady awaits. So I humph there because that statue kind of reminds me of uh, Yuna, Garland from Final Fantasy 1. Garen, you knew this was going to happen, didn't you? Yes. Thanks for the heads up. If I had told you the truth, would that really have stopped you from coming? I mean, yeah. Luna. I'm not going back. Kimari knows. Kimari goes first. Yuna is safe. Kimari protect. Hey, you do that. Yeah, I don't know why. The way that... I don't think I've ever really noticed it, but it, it definitely kind of looks a little bit like Garland's armor and cape when he's doing that. The first boss from Final Fantasy 1. And it's a callback, I know. And I guess spoiler if you never played Final Fantasy 1, though. It's not much of a spoiler. <gasps> Someone's coming! Lady Unaleska. You seem to have forgotten your pants, Lady Unaleska. And your shirt. I congratulate you, Summoner. You have completed your pilgrimage. I will now bestow you with that which you seek. Was this just the trend back in the day? Will be yours. Now. A bikini made out of dragon choose. scales or snake scales? You must choose the one whom I will change to become the faith of the final summoning. <sighs> there must be a bond between chosen and summoner. For that is what the final summoning embodies. The bond between husband and wife, mother and child, or between friends. Or just the random person you met on the side of the street. Enough, its light will conquer sin. A thousand years ago, I chose my husband Zeon as my faith. Our bond was true, and I obtained the final Aeon. There is nothing to fear. You will soon be freed of worry and pain. For once you call forth the final Aeon, your life will end. Death is the ultimate and final liberation. See, saying that should raise a lot of red flags for any summoner that's been here. I turn back. Who will defeat Sin? I don't know. One of the summoners behind you? Would you have some other summoner and his guardians go through this? Yes. But, my lord, there must be another way. 
This is the only way we got now. Fine. Make me the faith. I've been doing some thinking. My dream is back in the other Xanarkand. I wanted to make that runt into a star blitz player. Show him the view from the top, you know. But now I know there's no way home for me. Kinda true. I'm never gonna see him again. My dream's never gonna come true. That's the spirit. So make me the faith. I'll fight sin with you, Braska. Then maybe my life will have meaning, you know. Don't do this, Jack. If you live, there may be another way. We'll think of something, I know. Believe me, I thought this through. Besides, I ain't getting any younger, so I might as well make myself... What are you, 30? Checked? What? You're not gonna try to stop me, too. Sorry. I mean... Thank you. Braska still has to fight sin, Oren. Guard him well. Make sure he gets there. Uh, well, let's go. Lord Braska, checked. What do you want now? Sin always comes back. It comes back after the calm every time. I'm pretty sure they know this already, Orn. Will continue, and your deaths will mean nothing. But there's always a chance it won't come back this time. It's worth trying. I mean, I no, it's not. What you're saying, Orin. There's also no chance of I'll that. Find a way to break the cycle. You have a plan. Checked. Trust me. I'll think of something. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't know that at this point. Well, no, they do know that. They do know that Sin never always responds. That's kind of the thing. Get, get a little angry there, Orn. The cycle went on. We'll break it. But how? What, you got a plan now? <laughs> no. It's Heroes do, don't need plans. Right, Final Fantasy 13? <sighs> Me too, Yuna. That still won't change anything, you know? You'd bring the calm. And then what? That won't break the cycle. Listen. You want to defeat Sin and keep Yuna alive. You don't want Sin to come back, yeah? That is just not gonna happen, brother, you know? If you want everything, you'll end up with nothing. But he doesn't... But okay. I want everything. Despite what Titus just said, he that doesn't want child. everything. He just wants this to end. I give up. So what would an adult do then? They know Sacrifice they themselves for summer. nothing? Then they can do whatever they like. You're right. I might not even have a chance. But no way am I going to just stand here and let Yuna go. And what Oren said about there being a way, I think it's true. You'll think of something? Yes. I'll go ask Yuna Lesko. Why do they say yes so weirdly? She's got to know something. You really think she'll help you? Oh yeah, 100%. I don't know, but I have to try. This is my story. It'll go the way I want it. Or I'll end it here. Wait. How? Gonna kill everyone? You say it's your I story, mean, that'd be quite a twist. But it's my story too, you know? It would be so easy to let my fate just carry me away, following the same path my whole life through. But I know... I can't. What I do... I do, with no regrets. Except with all the regrets I have. Yeah, it's kind of weird how Titus keeps saying it's his story, and it is his story. It's part of his story, anyways. But it is everyone else's story, too. Like, they're here. They're having a say in the conversation. Even if I don't agree with what they're saying. Like, I don't... I definitely don't see the whole... 
Like, just knowingly sacrifice yourself for nothing. Do the El Bedway. But still, anyway, they're going to save because that was a long cutscene. All right, let's go talk to Lady Unaleska. See if we can convince her to put on some pants. So I have a feeling, like, that clothes got to be rotty by now, right? Like, she's been wearing the same elf for, what, a thousand years? There's no way. There's no laundromat here. That's disgusting, girl. Also, how come you're not green and the other one's Have green? You chosen the one to become your faith? Who will it be? Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And thus is Sin reborn. So that's why Jack became Sin. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never ending. It looks so uncomfortable. Never ending? But, but, if we atone for our crimes, sin will stop coming back, yeah? Someday it'll be gone, yeah? Will humanity ever attain such purity? <laughs> Absolutely not. This, this cannot be. The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement. Lulu doesn't sound like Lulu here. It's been our only hope all these years. Hope is comforting. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. I wouldn't say accept, but maybe no! deal with it. Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them. Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. They chose to die because they had hope. Nice battle cry. Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira hope. I don't know why she shows us that. <laughs> Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira? How about I choose you? What would you do there? Say we... Say I felt like we had a bond as the first summoner and as the future f summoner myself. We have a bond. No Probably just say no, right? Died, I live for the people of Spira and would have gladly died for them, but no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. No, it is our only hope. No, Yuna's right. My father sacrificed himself to give that hope to the people. For a good, like, eight years. So would forget sorrow. Or ten years. I don't know how long Sin's been my back. Father... My father wanted to make Spiro's sorrow go away. Not just cover it up with lies. Sorrow cannot be abolished. It is meaningless to try. My father... I loved him. So I... I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow in his place. I will stand my ground and be strong. I don't know when it will be, but someday... I will conquer it. And I will do it without... false hope. Poor creature. You would throw away hope. I mean, he's not that useful early on in the game, but he gets better. Before you can drown in your sorrow. It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me be your liberator. All right, so boss time against now, Bikini Lady. This is it. Now is the time to choose. Die and be free. Camera's kind of freaking out here, Orin. Or live and fight your sorrow. Now is the time to shape your stories. Your fate is in your hands. You not need oh my on. god, Kamari, don't Kamari. spin that thing around. Well, I'm fighting. I can 
can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Unaleska. Give me a break. <laughs> you can always run. Ah. I'd never forgive myself. No way. Not if I, I mean, hell, we've now. already killed Maesters. Well, a Maester. Even in death, yeah? Uh, my thoughts exactly. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. Oh, did... Uh, no, I was going to say, did IT fix the camera? All right, so yeah, boss time against Unaleska. She has three forms because she kind of... Well, she's a jerk. Um, I don't really want to do anything with you just yet, so guard. You, on the other hand... You... I don't know. Just guard... Uh, protect him. She has a couple of good physical attacks. I think she has some spells as well. Um, she counters any type of action you do against her. If you stale, she counters with uh, sleep. Um, oh, we need to put reflect on. That's right. Um, if you cast a spell, she'll counter with silence. And if you attack, I don't exactly know what she does. But let's go ahead and get everyone their experience before I do that. Good job. All right, you go ahead and cast Reflect on Titus. Uh, Riku's going to be in the party with her L-Bed healing, that's why. Waka, get the hell out of here. Uh, you go ahead and Reflect yourself. And I think... You know what? Share. Get a little stronger. Why not? Absorb. What are you absorbing? That's it? All right, well, we'll go ahead and do another share then. And then we'll get Lulu out for... Kamari? And then he can... Just use an X potion on you? Sure. Ah! High potion should be enough. Then you leave for Waka. Waka, 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 Waka. And you... I'm going to see if we can armor break. Ah! Is that worth it? I don't think that's actually worth it. There we go. Alright. We already had Waka in. I'm dumb. So let's get Titus back in here. And do a third chair. Mari, you bring in Yuna. You're good there. Fourth chair. And we want Riku to get in here. It's guard, and then there's fifth. I want to get on reflect on everyone pretty much. But that's fine. Uh yeah, you come in here and just use an Albed potion. After Reflect is on Riku, I think we need one more chair. We will, uh, we'll start attacking. Well, Tidus will start attacking. First form, not that bad. Only 24,000. Oh, wait. I think I have one more chair to do, don't I? Uh... Yeah, you can chair. Actually, I should probably chair and have Riku attack a little bit, too. So this way we can't be blinded. Uh, we have healing with Riku. How much damage do you do? Ooh, that's awful. She wasn't here for the five chairs, so it's not too, too bad. Ow, quit it. All right, so with that, she's going to go into her next phase, which she will turn people to zombies, which can be bad, because that means Riku won't be able to heal us. Well, not until we cure it. That being said, we want to keep on the zombie status. Why? Because eventually, she's going to start using something called Mega Death. Why are... Excuse me. Huh? 
Huh. Okay, so... Oh, that dispelled haste. Do I have any chocobo feathers? I think I do. I got 13. But I definitely want Tidus to be hasted. Yeah, and then I guess just... Sure, raise luck. And then do nothing yet. Keep raising luck. This will help for, uh, with, what's it called? Crits, I think. Only works five times, like everything else. Now, I probably could do... Huh, I could do that. I could do slice and dice, couldn't I? I could do slice and dice. Okay, I kinda, kinda want you to do something. Maybe I should just cheer. A thousand points of damage isn't too bad with Riku. Maybe I should have picked Orin for this, but yeah, just attack. I could use a gem or something. How much health do you have? I don't know if we would be able to kill a slice and dice. Oh, haste wore off. Oh, the physical attack. Right, the physical attack does that. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Ooh, regen. Not too bad. Um, Just guard, guard, guard. You know what? I'm going to do slice and dice. See how much damage it does. Missed the first one. That's eh, not going to kill her. But it'll be close. Can dispel it with uh Well dispel, I think. Uh that will Yeah, that will take away the um the regen. There goes her haste. Crap, all right. Well, dispel again. Nice crit. I would like to actually, like, I don't know, attack with Titus here. Oi. Might kill it. It, well, not kill it, but did a good job. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, this is Megadeth, so we're going to need to revive Yuna. Alright, yeah, let's revive Yuna. Thankfully, she gets to keep her, uh, what's it called, her... Her overdrive. So we'll dispel that in a second. Get 60 soul, or 60 soul, 60,000 HP. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and cure ourselves, and then we'll put reflect on ourselves again. Now, do you... Hmm. I'm thinking if she uses Mega Death twice. I don't think she does. Yeah, I don't think she does cast Mega Death twice. Let's see. Um, how much does this do? Ah, not a lot, but 
I guess it's a few thousand points of damage. Maybe I start healing everyone. Sure. This is a chance, but I'm pretty sure she only uses Megadeth once. Oh, this damage roll is a lot better. Ow, quit it. And I guess pray. Mind Blast is probably not good. Crap, that's really bad. Uh, we need to cure... Oh, never mind. We do need to cure uh, that confusion, though, on Riku, because she is my healer. I mean, pray helps, but... Not as a... Uh... Oh, she has... Oh, zombie again, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Why does she have regen on still? I thought it is. Oh, she must have got a get one on afterwards. All right, well that's fine. When she gets around to a uh, hundred thousand health, I will be summoning Bahamut. Let's go ahead and dispel that. Hopefully that worked this time. I'm going to go ahead and use a holy water. I thought she didn't use Hellbiter until, uh, well, in this form. I think overkill her, you need to do 10,000 points of damage, which probably isn't in the cards unless uh, Mega Flare does over 10,000. Oh, there's Mega Death. All right. So she does use it more than once. Might be. Oh, well. How much health? 40,000. We do need to get Yuna back up. Because we want her to pretty much revive anyone that needs it. We're going to go ahead and cast haste on her too. That's fine. Alright. you. No, she's, she's undead now. Alright. So one more attack from Titus, and then we should be good to go with Bahamut, I think. Let's use a uh, Lightning Gem. I don't think I've ever really used that one. Ah, it's not bad. The same as Fire Gem, just Lightning. Regen on you. That's rude. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna holy water myself. How do you like them apples? Uh, yeah. You know what? Actually, no. We'll guard here. Then come in here and we'll use a water gem. And then summon Bahamu. And then that should be it with the battle. It's a long battle, but it's 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 a, it's a not a hard hard battle, I guess. Don't kill her, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and summon Bahamut. And Bahamut should be able to kill it, her, because I think she only has like eight thousand HP left. Bahamut should be able to do more than that. If not. One more attack from Titus will do the job.
if you can get death proof at this point in the game, I mean, you don't need to keep zombie on, but so you're gonna, you're gonna get it on either way at one point, right? Kind of makes sense, right? She's an unsent and she's just making everyone else dead or undead. But yeah, nine thousand. This should do it. Please do it, Bahamut. Also, long episode today. Hey, hey, ooh, I could have done that half the overcoming the past. I could have done that at half her health. I thought she had more defense than that, to be quite honest. So was that thing always a part of you, or was it just in the middle of the floor? If I die, so does the final Aeon. And this bikini. And with it, Spira's only hope. Then we'll find Spira a new hope. Fool. There is no other way. You keep saying that, but I don't think you guys actually tried. Even if you did destroy sin, you, Yevon, the immortal, would only create sin anew. You, Yevon? Ah, oh, Zeon, forgive me. For thou hast gotten my ass kicked. I've been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is sorrow. Over dramatic much? Ah, nothing like toppling a thousand-year-old tradition. Level three key spares. That's not too bad. Not four, but that's good enough. I cannot believe what we just did. And I can. Let's We're pretty strong. More unbelievable. What? Destroy sin, so it won't come back. And without the final Aeon. I don't know how just yet. But I'll find out. Alright, so, before you leave this room, come over here. Bypass the apparently physics walled glass there. Go down there and get this treasure. Because for some reason, like they did with Besaid and all those other places I talked about earlier, once you leave this room, a super boss spawns in this room in the HD remastered version. Because, reasons. If you don't get this now, you will pretty much have to grind to max sphere grid or close to max sphere grid to take on the boss in this room and you'd have to do it without Titus because you wouldn't be able to get his ultimate weapon yeah I know right that's super annoying <sighs> right, can I move I don't know now I can all right yo dog what up talk. what there's something you should know. I know. It's about you, right? I am also an unsent. <gasps> no! You are not surprised. I think... I kinda knew. It was Unaleska, wasn't it? That and all the other signs when throughout Brasca the game. and Jekt died defeating Sin. I just couldn't accept it. I came back here tried to avenge them but she struck me down somehow I made my way crawling down Mount Gagazet but my strength left me just outside Bevel that's where Kamari found me I told him about Yuna just before I died I've how'd you age ten years though never going to the far plane Aaron don't make that face being dead has its advantages. I was able to ride Sin and go to your Xanarkand. And you've been watching over me since then, haven't you? Why? What's the big idea? Why me? It is one of those things that is difficult to explain. And we wouldn't have a game if we didn't. Very well, I will show you. 
Yeah, so that explains how he got to Xanik, and he, when Sid went back there at one point, no memories. dead Orin here was just on his back, pretty much. Because when you're dead, you're not affected by, like, the toxins, and I... I don't know if the fiends on Sid actually really care about Unsent. Favor? Uh, the Sin Spawns, or whatever they're called. Mind. Out with it. Okay, listen good. Take care of my son. Because Lord knows I haven't. My son in Xanarkand, he's such a crybaby. He needs someone there to hold his hand, see? Take care <laughs> You're of not wrong, him. actually. Your wife but died, like, soon after you left, man. <laughs> hey, you said it yourself. There must be a way to get there, right? You'll find it. Uh, all right. I will. I give you my word. I'll take care of your I don't know how... I'll I guess it was more of a life. guess that Orin was like, if I ride Orin. Sin, I'll get to his Xanarkin. always such a stiff. But that's what I liked about They just you. put two and two together, because it's not like Dream Xanarkin is known by the populace of Spear. They can never find it. Like, that's people right. in Spear can never find Dream Xanarkin. So, I'm guessing, just because he put two and two together, that Jek saw Sin and ended up in Spira. If I ride Sin... Eventually, I will see this this Xanarkin that Jack told me about, and that's how he did it. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the link below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you head my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's you're liking. If you're interested in watching me live stream, head on to twitch.tv slash Plays. Give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.